guys, Natural E Curly here, and I just wanted to come and do a quick update on my God and Select Remy hair. Now, I did stop wearing the hair for um, a couple of weeks uh, because I switched back to my natural hair, of course. But every time I decide a protective style, I just put on my God and Select Remy hair, and I've been wearing it now for a week. So, I mean, I haven't combed it out or anything, and these are old curls. So this is, I can still run my fingers through it, also shedding, I have no strands, sorry about the closet, but no strands. Well this time I have like one, one strand of hair, but um, it doesn't really shed that much um, unless I go all day without, you know, doing this or the nape area. Sometimes I have to go back and, you know, just run my fingers through it. So I'm still absolutely loving this hair and I would recommend it if you cannot afford, you know, virgin hair or anything like that. Now remember this hair was bone straight and I don't usually do bone straight hair. So of course I had to, you know, put a little bit of curls in it and what I do use for my curls is this Conair curling iron that I got. It's the Infinity Conair. I'm not sure what size it is, honestly, and it goes up to... 395 degrees and um, I bought this from a homeless person so for five dollars he really needed the money and what he did in return was gave me a curling iron so um, it was still brand new it was in the box and everything so I don't know where he got the curling iron from but it was five dollars and I've had it for years and I am it's like I'm loving it so like I said these are old curls um, so usually when it's in my face, I just do this, or if I recurl it, I bump this side, so, you know. And of course it is on a cap, and this, I did the, I'm not really sure what method I used, I don't, I don't really know what it's called, but I did use Peak Mills method, because it did have bangs, but I did cut the bangs out, I was not feeling the bangs too much. So, um, ever since I've cut the bangs out, I'm still in love with this hair. So, um, once again, stay tuned. Um, this is actually going to be my last update on this hair. I love it, no questions asked. And I did make another wig with the other packs of hair that I did win of the Select Goddess Remy. But I used that lace closure. You know what, I can show you. So this is the second wig that I made with... They got a select Remy hair, and of course, this hair has been on this little styrofoam head for a few weeks, so it's frizzy, but look, it is not even tangled, not even. So, this is the closure, right here, the one that I bought from the beauty supply store for $15.00. And all I did was I sewed it onto the spandex cap. This time I used a spandex cap instead of the dome cap. It's a little bit bigger, so it fits my head a lot better. So I don't know if you can tell. But I just sewed it onto the cap before I put the wig on. And it was it's only 8 inches. So I did not cut it. It's just it's 8 inches. And I have not cut the cap that's underneath the closure just yet. I really don't have a need to. It's not showing in the parting, so I don't really want to cut it if I don't have to. But um, this wig, I actually, I absolutely love also. But um, since it's still kind of fresh hair, it's not doesn't lay like I haven't trained it just yet. Like I've trained the hair that I have on now, and um, I actually used all two packs for this one. I didn't use the whole two packs for the one that I have on my head. But um yeah, so if you have any questions on this hair, just leave a comment below. Like I said, this will be the last update on the hair and I will be posting um no, I mean, you might see me in some videos with the same hair on. I did win another giveaway by Sensational. So I'm going to do a review on it's either I'll either get the uke shape 
the U shape, the U part wig or the L shape wig. So um, once I get that, I will do a review on it. And also, if you would like to follow me on Instagram, my Instagram is Miss Tasty underscore E. Or Facebook, you can find me at Erica Tasty Baby. No space in between Tasty and Baby. And then Patterson hyphen Perkins. That is my Facebook name. Also, my Twitter name is Miss E underscore Tasty. So, um, I'm not really on Twitter that much. And I'll post all the links below in the comment. Not in the comment. In the description box. So, um, I hope that I answered all of your questions. But if you have any more, just leave them below. And I will see you all in my next video. Bye.